Uh, you'll see my work all over the place pretty much. Uh, okay. Just done a photo shoot for Regions. Um, you'll see that around and also you'll see the Jaguar ad off 2059 headed to the uh, Highway 31 exit. That's from Birmingham, born and raised. Uh, military brat, though, moved okay. around quite a bit. Where were some of the spots y'all moved to? Oh, gosh. Uh, Tampa, Florida. Uh, from Tampa to San Diego. Uh, Dallas, Texas. Uh, San Antonio, Texas. Uh, Springfield, Zion, Illinois. Okay. Um, so pretty much all. You graduated from here? Or uh, yes, graduated from at? here. Uh, actually started off at uh, Banks Middle School. And okay. then from Banks, I went to Center Point Christian School. And I graduated from there, top of the class. Yeah, I've been doing photography for a long time. Uh, actually, while I was in school, I got published for the first time in 1992, uh, Jet Magazine, Beauty of the Week. Oh, uh, yeah? Yes. So. What was the name? Uh, Kendra Hardy. Uh, actually, after I did that, I knew that's what I wanted to do. So I started taking photos and different things like that, but I knew I couldn't do it here in Birmingham. Okay. So what I did, I always wanted to go to the Air Force. I went to the Air Force. After I joined the Air Force, I actually uh, went to San Antonio and uh, I ended up being a firefighter, which was a good thing because I had four days on, four days off. On okay. those four days off, I actually got to do a lot of photo shoots and different things like that and uh, freelance for Ozone Magazine, Double XL, uh, Maxim Magazine, FHM. So I've been out in uh, Arizona? Uh uh, in uh, Texas. In Texas? Yes. I, okay. I uh, was stationed in Arizona in Phoenix. In Phoenix, that's when I actually got to work a little bit with uh, Girls Gone Wild in Scottsdale, Arizona. And okay. Moved from there, yes. How, I mean, was it just digging around, bumping into folks? Uh, actually, or were you recommended or how did they, uh, actually I dug a lot uh, okay. a lot of time online finding who the uh, photographer and the art directors are and once you find an art director it's pretty much easy you find out what they need you give it to them and you're in there so you uh, call some art directors and you said hey I'm a photographer I want you to check my work out see pretty if you can much. use me how much how much cold was it years of cold calling like that months before you started get, just getting calls out it was actually just months. It's been about three months, and um, took a couple of my uh, portfolios in because I always carry more than one portfolio. Um, and okay. after that, got a few calls, and they said, "Hey, like your work? We want to come out and you know talk to you for a little bit." And actually, because I was in the Air Force, they had to come to the base to see okay. me because I couldn't leave work a lot. So, okay. So what they did, they came to the base and we sat down in the fire station and just had a conversation, showed them some more photos, different things like that, and turned around and said, okay, yeah, we'll yeah. use um, I did a couple of photo shoots for a few calendars and didn't understand quite how the calendars went, how it worked, how your funds would be paid, but went in and said, okay, yeah, we're going to offer you $250 to do a photo shoot. Okay, great. Well, come to find out. It would, I would have made a lot more money if I would have took a percentage of sales. Okay. Percentage of sales is always better. Okay. So that's definitely one thing that they will try to use with newcomers and amateurs. That we'll pay you this right now, but in the long run, they're making you know, 80, 90% more than anything. It depends on who I'm doing the shoot for. Uh, if I'm doing a photo shoot for an up-and-coming model or something like that, then of course, you know, if that model actually has a potential that I can see, you know, myself, then a lot of times I'll foot the entire expense myself because I know, okay, this person has, you know, something that I can use, she can use, and we'll both make some money off of it. So I guess that's, again, a word to the models. Like if, if they're asking you to pay for it, you probably ain't got what it takes. Right. Okay. <laughs> that's okay. right. Okay. So definitely. And uh, if it's something for a corporation or a business, uh, a lot of times I ask what they're looking for, what they want, and that's how I determine, you know, how to charge them and, you know, what to I do. I was actually uh, in an explosion in Iraq. I was in a wheelchair for three years. Oh, and, uh, okay. Kind of slowed me down a little bit, so came back home, did some rehab at Lakeshore Foundation and got back on my feet. And military, you know, they said, hey, we don't want you back because your knees are bad now. And so I said, well, that's fine, you know, got a little <laughs> uh, military disability there and got my cameras and uh, went to Alabama Department of Rehabilitation Services, got some more funds and started from there. As far as photographers go in Birmingham, there's a lot of good talent uh, and a lot of good talent as far as uh, graphic artists as well. Um, the thing about it is not staying in the city and not being you know limited to Birmingham use Birmingham as your stepping stone and there's a lot of work here um, advertisement agencies corporations that need photos taken every day real estate agencies need photos of their homes hotels need photos for ex their um, 
rooms to put on their website, hey, this is our room, this is what we offer. There's a lot of places, you know, that photographers don't think to touch. I uh, created a couple of websites, put my workout, stuff like that, and after I put my workout, it came to be one of those things to where just send some emails, hey, here's my portfolio, here's some of my work online, take a look. If you want to work with me, give me a call. And a lot of people started calling. and. <laughs> Okay, so so I guess again it all goes back to your package and your presentation. That's right. And being on being about your hustle. That's right. Well, Mr. Wilson, we really appreciate your time today, and we wish you all the best. Same to you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it.